Hey guys, I'm Al and welcome to a new episode of Dramatical Murder. Last episode we had a break-in with this mysterious guy who tried to get us to fight him again and then this dude popped up through the veranda and he was like, hey, how you doing? And then Koshiku burst through the door and he's like, what the hell are you guys doing? And Alba's just like, oh my god, keep you peaceful, please get the fuck out of my room. And then Granny woke up and she's like, bitches, get downstairs and she made them donuts and now they're all drinking tea. Yeah, that's about what happened. As I taste my donut, Kushiku, who's already finished eating, stands up. He turns around before going into the hallway and beckons me to come over. Me? When I point to myself, Kushiku nods several times. Hmm, what is it? I lower my half-eaten eaten donut and stand up to go into the hallway with Kushiku. Hello. Oof, everything got really confusing all of a sudden. Yeah, no kidding. I guess he wanted to escape the strange atmosphere in the living room. He lets out a sigh. Maybe because he only feels comfortable away from everyone else. Yeah, that's for sure. Was he really acting that weird? Like, Anyway, about Mizuki, did you contact him or meet with him at all? Yeah, I did. I was fine, but... Yeah, I called him. He said he was fine, but I felt like he wasn't as energetic as before. So. Really? Something happened to him. Yeah, Mizuki was acting strange. Well, I, I told you that Mizuki was acting strange, didn't I? Around then, members of my team and members of Dry Juice had some trouble. Oh shit, you're saying that his crew attacked your crew? What the shit, man? That's not cool. Mizuki was also there. Hasn't he always tried to negotiate these things out before? Hmm. That's so weird. For some reason, he seemed kind of absent-minded and kept spacing out, and he just watched the fight without trying to stop it. In the end, I had to stop it instead. Oh. I thought Mizuki looked strange and asked if he was alright. When I did, he gave me this leave me alone glare. Mizuki? Mizuki did. Ah, that's weird. Yeah, he didn't look like his usual self. It seemed like he was brooding over something. Hmm. Alba, can't you remember anything? Has he been having any trouble recently? Earlier, when I was at Mizuki's shop, we did talk about the mysterious disappearances. Oh. Hmm. The rumors about entire rib teams disappearing. Right. I think I was really worried about that. That would be true. I've definitely heard that there are some teams that have been disappearing, but... Uh... Morphine? Morphine? Oh. The fuck? Both Kujiku and I are surprised when we suddenly hear a high-pitched voice. Yeah, no kidding. Something right behind my back falls on the floor. It's a little bunny cube, which I guess is the green guys? What rolls on the floor is one of the cubes that rabbit-headed man had attached to his waist. Was it in the hood of my jacket? What? The cube hops back towards the living room. How the hell does cube- uh, it's, uh, Guy. <gasps> Eavesdropping. Kujiku chases after the cube into the living room. Oi, <laughs> Hey, you little shit. You were eavesdropping just now, weren't you? <laughs> it's not like it was something worth going to the trouble of asking about. This guy dressed like a complete weirdo. Bastard. Kami Kakushitoka. Leave it on the Imadoki Hayaraneshi. 
とりあえず盛り上がるイベントを起こしとけって感じなんじゃねえの Like the mysterious disappearances. Rip's not trendy anymore these days, so doesn't it feel like they're just holding something. Wait, what? They're just holding some exciting event? What <laughs> the hell are you talking about, friend? What did you just say? Koshiku's voice shows clear anger. Boy, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. Hey, it's not a joking matter. There really are teams that have not returned. I don't know. Oh my god, this guy is balls. I don't know. Doesn't it only mean it's better to stop doing rib if you're scared? <laughs> Kushiko's best. <laughs> Kushiko becomes angry and the man looks back at him even more coldly. You, what is your name? It's good manners to give your own name first. <laughs> An asshole like you probably doesn't even have any manners, so why should I bother? Then don't ask. Wait a minute, this is a need to get ugly. He's Koshiku, and you? Noise. No noise? Noise! <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> no one likes little shits like you. I don't really care if you like me or not. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> uh, Granny, who'd remained silent until now, suddenly cuts off all hostility between the two with a single sentence. <laughs> if you're going to fight, do it elsewhere. You're so noisy, I can't stand it. <laughs> Sorry, Tasan. Hmm. Glancing at the apologizing Kujiku, Noise stands up in silence. Hey, where are you going? Home. As soon as he mutters that, he leaves the living room. And the rest of you, if you're finished eating, go back home. Clear rises to Granny's voice and bows. Sayonara. What the fuck? It was delicious. Well then, Master. Goodbye. Uh, wait a sec. Clear exits the living room into the hallway as I chase after him. Hi. Yes, what is it? Mata Whether we meet again or not, if there's a second time, come in normally. Normally? <laughs> Don't fall through the sky or come in through the veranda. <laughs> Normally people come in through the front door. <laughs> I love the sky. Why can't it come from the sky or the veranda? It's just weird, okay? And startling. It's bad for the heart. Bad for the heart. I see. I understand. Do you really? Clear raises his hand with a yes and puts it to his chest. What? It's about the heart here, right? Uh, uh, well, yeah, but... Okay. When I'm with Master, I learn a lot. Thank you very much. Really? Until next time. Oh. Yeah. Bowing once again, Clear leaves from the entryway. <laughs> I don't know, dude. What's up with that gas mask guy? Kushiko returns to the hallway from the living room, muttering about Clear. I don't know, but we're gonna go for him. He's not someone you know? Definitely not. He just freaking fell out of the sky. <laughs> Someone I know, well, I don't think so. I don't really know him. <laughs> hey, hey, keep it together. Kushiko looks amazed, but unexpectedly he rubs his neck with one hand as if he's embarrassed. What? Why? <laughs> Aww. 
I'm sorry about earlier. I just kind of snapped. It would be nice if you could tell Taya san too. You apologized earlier. I think it's okay. And I'm sorry for going nuts like that in your room. Ah, uh, well, it's over already. It's been a while since I've seen you so angry, though. I'm not good with guys like that who don't know how to compromise. Kujiko sighs with a defeated expression. I remembered it just now, but isn't he in a rhyme team? Rhyme? No? Rhyme team? あ、確かラフラビットって名前だ。前にうちのが向こうのチームメンバーと喧嘩沙汰になって。That has got to be the ugliest logo I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I think it was named Rough Rabbit. Before, when our team and members of other no their team had a fight, I remember seeing him there. あいつも俺がリブやってるの知ってたっぽいし、多分そうだろうな。考えれば考えるほど胸くそありな。you seem to know I was doing rib too, so I guess I'm right. The more I think about it, the worse it makes me feel. So, Rhyme has teams too. I didn't know that. Hmm. I think they only started forming teams recently. They're probably doing it to gather information more easily. It just bothers me. In RIP, there are lots of guys who think that being teammates equals being family, but Rhyme might be different in that aspect. Dry and efficient. Just by looking at noise, it's clear enough. Well, putting that guy aside, I'll make it so I can help out Mizuki too. If you know anything, give me a call. Nah. Alright. Mm, see you. Kushiku raises one hand and walks out the front door. <sighs> yeah. Interesting night. After seeing Kushiku off, I return to my room feeling a little weak. Maybe I'm so tired because of all the things that happened today. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, right. I forgot to tell Kushiku that it was Noise who had pulled me into the rhyme. But if I tell him the next time he sees Noise, he'll do nothing but pick a fight. <laughs> <laughs> now you're left to clean up this freaking mess. That sucks. Thinking over the day's events, I open the door while a feeling of while a feeling of weakness washes over me. I already know my room is a disaster, but I can't help thinking about how bad it is. Kusa. Damn it. Everything has been crazy lately. I remember Noise's cocky attitude and a bit of anger perks up. Seriously, what a dick. I decided to only pick things up that had fallen on the ground, and afterwards I plop myself on the bed. I'll clean the rest tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I've already had too much excitement for one day. I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Sleep. No? What? When I feel, felt a... More? When I felt a breeze and opened my eyes, there was a gaping hole on the door to the veranda. That gas mask guy. But I kind of don't care anymore. I don't want to get up. In the end, I fell asleep as it was. Clear left the door open, I see. Okay. Are we gonna get murdered? Okay, good. The next day comes. Because I was so tired from yesterday, I arrived at Heibon just barely in time. Haga-san went out as soon as he opened the shop, so I'm taking care of the shop alone. Only bonjin kun and I are in the shop. Since hardly any customers have come, I have lots of free time. I spent the time thinking about yesterday's events. Yeah, that was pretty freaking chaotic. Noise and clear. A trespasser and a weird guy in a gas mask. Seriously, why is he wearing that thing? It's creepy. I don't understand either of them. But when everyone went home and the noisiness vanished from the house, I actually might have felt a little lonely. Really? It's a bit like thinking it's nice to have something that... Is that my phone? No, it's in the game. This sounds exactly like my phone. <laughs> it's a bit like thinking it's nice to have something lively happen once in a while. Hi, Junk Shop Heibon desu. Yes, this is Junk Shop Haibun. What's up? Moshimoshi. Hello. Hi. 
Uh, that's normal. He hangs up without saying anything. What, a prank? <laughs> what? Suicide attack? <laughs> I hate these things. Creatures. This place is as lame as always, so go away! And just stay away! The door opens and loud voices echo through the room. You brats again. Ah, it's Alba. Yeah, go away. Looking boring as usual, so go away. Sheesh, they're always so uncute. No! Oh, target found. Found. Oh, okay. The evil brat's interest moves from me to gun Bunjin Gun. <laughs> Bunjin Gun stops by hitting the brakes to hide behind me. Wait, wait. Doesn't that mean I'll be their new target? Yay! Wait, wait. No. <laughs> As I struggle with the noisy brats, I hear the door open again. I think it's a customer, but. Uh, why? Noise? Yo. Yo. What do you want? Noise approaches me while curiously looking over the shop. The evil brats let go of me and keep their eyes trained on Noise. Yeah, he's kind of weird looking. <laughs> hey, hey, isn't it weird to have a customer? Wow. Uh, no. Before I can stop them, the brats dash towards noise. That's so weird. Crap, he's gonna get angry. And... I thought he would get angry, but instead he avoids them easily. <laughs> the events in Kiwa now fall forward. And then Mio... Hey, let me go! Just before she bumps into him, Noise catches her and lifts her up like a kitten. Let me go, what are you doing? Mio pounds on Noise's chest desperately. Without budging, Noise silently continues to watch Mio. It's kind of a surreal scene. As I watch Dumbfounded, Noise does something completely unexpected. What, is it gonna rip her heart out or something? Wow. <laughs> What? He takes Mio's struggling hand, brings his lips close to it, and kisses it. No. What the hell? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. But Mio's still even more surprised than me. Well, who wouldn't be? Mio trembles madly, her face red like a boiled octopus. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a little sexist. But I'll let it pass. Violent girls aren't cute. Noise says something absolutely absurd. <laughs> Mio opens and closes her mouth like a goldfish, then closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. <laughs> she screams, let me go, you sexual harassment piercing guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual harassment piercing guy. Noise doesn't really react and just puts Mio on the floor. Mio jumps back from Noise immediately and after retreating a safe distance shoves an index finger in his direction. <laughs> you have so many holes in your face, what are you gonna do if blood comes out? <laughs> These kids are so weird. What, blood? Kyo and Nao, who have been acting injured after falling forward, stand up when they hear their sister's words. Fortunately, the other bro older brothers hadn't seen Noise's performance. That's a relief. What did you do, Mio? <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> stop it, you two. Mio hurries to stop the two as they draw closer to Noise. Her face is still bright red. <laughs> uh, but... Let's just run away. <sighs> we haven't beaten them up yet. You don't have to. 
Okay, that was weird. <laughs> While screaming, Mio dashes out of the store. The older brothers chase after her in a hurry. That was weird. The store suddenly became silent. I can hear Bunge and Kun's gears moving faintly, but all I do is stare at noise, too surprised to speak. Oh my. <laughs> you, what were you doing to that young girl over there? Noise gives me a puzzled look. What? Just kissing her hand and stuff. Normally that would put people off. Eh, uh, I don't think it's that unusual. No, 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 no. It is that unusual. Hmm? Eh? Uh, noise just barges in, puts his hands down, and hangs over the counter. Hi! He looks into my eyes. Can I help you, friend? <clears throat> he did not. Uh, and then something soft touches my lips. What was that? Oh, oh, my. Hmm? He did not. None. Uh, why are you so weird? Don't just say what? What did she just do? Didn't I just kiss you? Huh? Why? Noise watches me calmly as I freak out. This guy, seriously, what is wrong with him? <laughs> is that right, Alba? Really? Are you sure about that? <clears throat> Normally, guys don't kiss other guys, you know. Mm -hmm. Really? Wait, so you play for that team? Huh? Uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is the best conversation. Noise is still completely composed, and I don't think I'm wrong about it. Even if it's just between guys, if you're like that, of course, kissing is a given. What? N no, that can't be it. But it doesn't seem like Noise is trying to mess with me or anything. What the hell? Did he slip in like a freaking GPS chip into my mouth or something? Like... Uh, why is he so weird? I need to get myself together. <laughs> He's weird, definitely. I'm not the weird one here. I shouldn't be. And there are many guys out there who are into skinship. Even if it's not between a man and a woman. Oh, I see. So he is that type, probably. I wet my lips with the back of my hand and calm down by taking deep breaths. <laughs> anyway, why did you even come here? What do you want? Noise stares at me in a fixed gaze. Yes. Join my team. Huh? What? Where did this come from? Your, your team? You mean rhyme? So. Yes. Uh, no thanks, friends. No way. I give a reply right off the bat. Noise just looks at me. And I'll just keep coming here until you say yes. What the hell? He's like a little kid. No. You're really strong at rhyme when I faced it before. Let's go at it again. No, I wasn't. You've got the wrong person. Noise sinks into silence and just stares at me. He has a sour look on his face and winces a small bit. What is wrong with him? Oh, what, this more? <laughs> well, that's not the issue here right now. Noise takes his gaze off of me and lets out a frustrated sigh. It's in front of your shop today? What is? Rhyme. Rhyme? What? Oh. No. Usui is going to appear in, around here today. Our predictions are always on target. Crap. I frown, unable to decrypt what he's about going on about. Boisterous noise travels all the way from outside. We're going. What? Just come. Noise steps over the counter, over the counter, okay, and grabs my arm. Hey, let me go, the shop. Shut up. 
His grip on my arm is so firm that I can't shake him off, and I'm just barely able to grab my bag with Ren inside. Okay, we're gonna get fired, for sure. When I go outside the shop, I see a sweltering back alley that no one ever goes through. A gra crowd of people head inside. Both Noise and I head that way as well. He doesn't even let you close- Ugh. It's around here. When we enter the grim alleyway, Noise stands still. And before I had noticed, there was a bunny cube in his hand. <laughs> Is that your allmate? mate? Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's... It's not cute. It's weird. It's weird for him to have such a cute one. <laughs> It'll start soon. A dim light starts to shine shortly enough. And the shop is... Ha okay. Hi, Usui. Hello. Yay. Are we going to be arrested by that crazy guy? A ring of light appears in the empty space and Usui shows up from its angles up. Hey! The surrounding participants raise their voices in excitement, and even more people come when they hear them. Just like I said. Oh. Yeah. Go up and take a look. I said I never liked this in the first place. Even just this much? Noise silently raises his eyebrows, and then behind me, my bag is being pulled down on by something on it. What was pulling on the strap was the bunny cube. When did I get there? Oh my. You. So. What will you do now? <sighs> the audience crowds together and I hold tightly onto my bag. There's no way to escape anymore. <laughs> P. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to end it here for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. Post a comment. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>